Say hi. Say hi, Tofu. Where's your other ear? Where's your other ear? <laughs> So I just got back from the hair salon. Um, this is my new hair, by the way. I just, it's like a reddish brown color now and I got bangs. And I finished volume nine of Jujutsu Kaisen while I was waiting for the hair color to set. And it's so good, probably my favorite volume I've read so far. And I can't wait to see it animated in season two. Um, no spoilers, like I'm not gonna say any spoilers, but I feel like the character backstories that we got were incredible and i'm really interested in the the developing morals of jujitsu sorcerer society and i like that we got it's a backstory of like the main trio um one of the characters the main trio we kind of get a little sneak peek into their childhood and that was nice and um, i think sato sugu is such such a compelling relationship like compelling friendship compelling character dynamic like the childhood best friends to enemies pipeline is rife with grief with yearning with sadness with nostalgia the desire for the two of them as adults like they can't they want to go back to when times were simpler when they were just friends but too much has happened in the time when they were teenagers in jujitsu high together and now they're adults on opposing sides of a moral dilemma like please it's so good and i'm gonna be reading volume 10 next but i do have some plans today to go um into the city to go eat and get some snacks and some boba maybe and <laughs> tofu is really invested in hearing this as well so i'm gonna be doing that and i'll take you guys along with me but yeah volume nine was incredible a lot of fight scenes which are really cool and i think the one thing with like shonen manga is a lot of the fight scenes i feel like of course translate a lot better in anime when it's in motion so reading it in manga you're like oh lots of like fighting but it's less even if the art is incredible and it is the it's not as dynamic when it's not moving and this is making me even more excited for 2023 when season two finally comes out because this story is picking up i think it's interesting i was kind of like mm. well just so kaisen season one was good the movie was good but it wasn't anything where i was like this is going to change my life but actually maybe season two is about to bring an arc that i am obsessed with okay volume 10 next also guys i'm really into this hair like look how cute it is the color is nice little like highlights kind of are we into it? What do we think? And also my glasses chain. Okay, that's all from me. Um, I will see you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna go take Tofu for a walk and then I'm gonna eat lunch and then we'll see. starting volume 10. I made some Samyang spicy chicken noodles. I have peppermint tea and some water and I'm excited. This is my first meal of the day because I woke up late for my haircut. So I went straight to the salon and I am 
super super hungry um as you can probably imagine so i'm gonna eat i'm gonna drink my tea drink my water and read volume 10. and what do you think is happening for you hmm? freaking cute panda is. Oh, look at his little face. Panda. <laughs> He's so cute. One of my favorite things about reading the Jujutsu Kaisen manga is the author seems to be just as confused about the magic system as I am. That's so funny. <laughs> everyone is I think plant-based vegan low calorie low sugar milk tea boba that's like the whole brand of the store for coming out to support um, the founders also went to Cal UC Berkeley just like I did so I came out here on opening day to support and I'm back again it was good the first time I came but um it's still good <laughs> I got Carl the Fog the first time. That was delicious if you guys come out here. This time I got um, Classic Clouds. Is yours good? Yeah, not yeah. bad. So Buried Sun, Buried Treasure. Buried Treasure is also good. So.
is 1 5 a.m. I finally came home. I just finished my skincare routine and I brushed my teeth and flossed and I'm getting ready for bed. Um, but the thing is I drank caffeine at like 5 p.m. So now I'm quite awake <laughs> and I think I'm gonna keep reading manga and maybe watch some anime tonight. Also, I'm wearing this really cute Hunter Hunter shirt but I ripped this like hole in it that you can see by accident. Um, so that's okay, I still wear it to sleep. It's a really cute Kilua shirt. Um, but I'm also gonna log, I have this spreadsheet here. Let me show you guys. I have this spreadsheet of all of the books that I own, which is really useful because I sometimes accidentally buy multiple of the same book because I forget that I have it already. Um, but I don't do that anymore because I keep this spreadsheet and I got three books today from um, City Lights bookstore and I'm going to type these into my spreadsheet so that I don't purchase them again by accident. Um, Alright, so the first book I got was Convenience Store Woman. I've seen this recommended a lot. I've heard a lot of good things from people that I trust, so I did end up picking that up. This is also a really cute cover. I think the pink and blue is super, super pretty. And I, from what I understand, this is a book about a woman who works at a convenience store and people in her life are wondering, you know, why don't, why doesn't she work harder, try to get a promotion, make like a quote unquote better life for herself. But for her, she likes working at the convenience store why would she want to try for something different when she's happy where she is and that's my understanding of the book I don't know if that's absolutely correct but I'm excited to read it either way um, I've heard a lot of good things and it's quite short so I think this would be a fun read I got the office of historical corrections this I actually have no idea what it's about but again this came highly recommended to me from a couple of friends whose opinions I trust so I picked this up as well. I've been picking it up, putting it back down for a, a, quite a while now. So I just finally got it today. And oh, they also, oh, they gave me a little bookmark. That's cute. I didn't realize that. That's really cute. I also got a postcard too. I don't know if you guys saw that earlier from City Lights. It's a very famous bookstore in San Francisco. Um, so I picked that up too. And the last, <laughs> the last book that I got is don't laugh at me um it's crime and punishment very famous classic russian classic i have heard a lot of good things about this of course like the other two but the thing is when people recommend me classics i always wonder if they're recommending it because they think it's actually good or they're recommending it to me because they want me to think that they're intelligent if that makes sense they're like oh you know look look at me i read classics but i've heard from people who are the most unpretentious people I've met who have read Crime and Punishment and they say that it is actually a very good read, very accessible um, to the modern day reader. And I'm really excited. I I looked up to see what people were saying was the best translation and I've heard this is a newer translation. Um, you can see the translator is here. And so I picked this one up based on some reviews that I read that said that this was the preferred translation. I don't know if you guys have, if you guys read Crime and Punishment, you guys have your own opinions about who the best translators like what the best translation is let me know down below I might pick up another copy if there is a big consensus that this is in fact not the preferred translation of course translation between languages is a really big big thing um a lot of cat catching the nuances of the original language and trying to interpret that into a second language is very difficult and some people do it better than others so I definitely understand how important translation is when you're reading translated text so let me know what you guys think um so those are the three that i got i feel like i was pretty good with self-control and only getting three and not getting like 15 because i kept picking stuff up and putting it back down it was very tempting you guys very tempting so i'm just gonna put that into my little spreadsheet So I just entered those books in and I actually forgot to mention this earlier, but I have a column called spine color of the book because I sort my bookshelves by type of books. So I have like 
I just write book when it's like a regular novel nonfiction book and I have a shelf just for manga and graphic novels hence why I have it split up here and then I also have them sorted by color that way I don't have to go and figure out what color all of these books are when I want to read them so I'll remember that Office of Historical Corrections is yellow based on my spreadsheet and Crime and Punishment is white based on my spreadsheet and this spreadsheet has saved my life makes it really easy to find books so yeah highly recommend doing this if you own quite a lot of books as you guys can see I now have 353 very exciting so yeah <laughs> Okay, pausing Tokyo Revengers really quick because I didn't know what this show was about before I started watching it. I just knew it was popular and I didn't realize he goes back in time. I, <laughs> I thought this was um, the genre of fantasy shonen where along the lines of like Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, you know, where like a little guy fights monsters. <laughs> um, but this is a man around my age who goes back in time 12 years to middle school to f save the life of his middle school girlfriend. I did not know this was the plot. I didn't know this was the plot. And, um, I mean, it's good so far. I like it. I'm about to finish episode one, but this is not what I thought the story was going to be. And now I'm very curious as to how it's gonna, how it's gonna keep going. <laughs> Okay, if you watch Tokyo Revengers, let me know how you like the show, because I know it's very popular, but I'm now only just getting around to it, and I, I'm flabbergasted. This is not what I thought it was going to be, and I'm excited. I just didn't know I was going to be watching a show about middle schoolers. You know, I, if I had known, I would have been more emotionally prepared to watch 13-year-olds make bad decisions, but, you know, here we are, so that's fine. Tokyo, what do you think? It's good? Okay. Back to the show. <laughs> 